Hello everyone! I hope you all right! The autumn came to Luxembourg, it's about time to turn on the heating, but the energy prices are freaking us out this year. I remember seeing candle heaters on internet and I thought I will give a shot on building one. Today in this super short video I would like to share my experience with you. So let's get started. I have chosen the place on the coffee table. Safety first, hence I got a stone plate and three bricks, which makes a sturdy base for the clay pots. I let the gap between bricks that a candle set the back would have enough oxygen to keep on burning. I also got two different size clay pots. The hole on the smaller pot has to be covered and burnt tea light is just right for it. For my heater I have chosen four 8 hour tea lights. Did you ever try it? Leave me a comment. For safety reasons, keep the candles apart one from another. And basically that's it. So how works this heater? Burning candles produce the heat. Topped with a clay pot, they are heating the pot. Clay is considered a high thermal mass material. It heats up slowly but it also disperses heat slowly. Covered hole is prevented the heated air to escape the pot, heating just the top of it, and topping this pot with another one, we can increase the heating surface and create some kind of thermos. It makes the hot air circulate between the pots and that way slowly disperse heat to the outside. The look of it, let's see, so it's raw, but it's just a bit larger than the dinner plate. <laughs> now let's be realistic about the clay heater. It will not make you to take your clothes off, because let's face it, it's warmed with just a few candles and an accumulated heat. What it does make, it's rising the room temperature, in our case 34 square meters, with additional 2 to 3 degrees of Celsius. And just like at a pit fire, the warmest place is next to the fire. I know, one day we will have to turn our radiators on. What I hope, that we can keep it on the minimum and have additional low-cost warm from the clay pot heater. And we have decided to heat on the budget as long as we can. And yes, my voice sounds like a tin can, but I still hope that you could enjoy my video. So thanks for watching, greetings from Luxembourg, and see you in the next one. Andy.